In this video, we want to look at some additional examples for implicit differentiation. So as our first example, let's find y prime and evaluate the derivative at the point 2, 3. So we have here a function xy minus 6 equals 0. And we realize that xy is a coupling of the x and the y, or the independent and dependent term. So this is an implicit function. And so we have to remember that whenever taking the derivative of the dependent variable, when we have an implicit function, we always get a prime term. So when taking derivatives of y in this particular problem, we will get a y prime. A clue as to which of the variables is independent and which is dependent will always be which of the variables we're asked to find their derivative. So in this particular case, since we're being asked to find y prime, that is our clue that y is a dependent variable. And whenever we're taking a derivative of y, we need a y prime term. The next thing we need to notice is that xy is a product of terms. So when differentiating xy, we're going to have to use as a larger rule the product rule, and then in the midst of doing the product rule, when taking derivatives of pieces, we'll use the implicit differentiation or chain rule. So taking the derivative of x times y, we have the derivative of the first term, which is x, that would be 1, times the second term. So our first term in the derivative there is y, plus the first term x times the derivative of y, which would be y prime then minus the derivative of 6, which is 0. So it's not written there, but that is 0. And then equal to the right-hand side, the derivative of 0 is 0. Now we need to solve for y prime. So we'll subtract y from both sides, then divide by x. So we get that y prime is equal to minus y over x. To finish the problem, we need to plug in y is 3 and x is 2. And this gives us the derivative of this function, y prime, at the point 2, 3 is minus 3, 2. In our second example, we're asked to find dy dx and the equation of the tangent line at the given point. So if we remember, in order to find the equation of the tangent line, we do need to find the slope, and the derivative of a function is the slope. We're given a point, so once we find the derivative of the function, we'll be able to find the slope at that point, and then we can use our point-slope formula after that to find the equation of the line. So again, we're looking at this function, and we see that it is an implicit function because there are independent and dependent variables mixed. We're not solved for one variable yet. And we've been asked to find dy dx, which is the same thing as y prime. So that's our indication that y is a dependent variable, and whenever taking the derivative of a y, we must have a dy dx term or y prime term. So we have 1 plus y cubed plus y is equal to x plus 7. So the 1 plus y cubed term, we're going to have to use the chain rule there. And we'll get 3 times 1 plus y squared. Then the derivative of 1 plus y would be 0 plus y prime. So there's just a y prime there. Plus, the next term there is y. The derivative of y is y prime. And that's equal to the derivative of x plus 7, which is 1. Now we need to solve for y prime. So I notice that there is a y prime term in each of the parts of the left-hand side of this equation. We'll factor out that y prime, and we're left with 3 times 1 plus y squared plus 1 in parentheses. That's equal to 1. Now we can divide by all of those terms that are in the parentheses to solve for y prime. And so we get y prime is equal to 1 divided by the quantity 3 times 1 plus y squared plus 1. So we have an expression for y prime or dy dx. Now we need to plug in 2, 1 to find the slope at that point. When we do, if we're careful, we'll get that the slope m at 2, 1 is equal to 1 13th. Now that we have the slope, m is equal to 1 13th, and we have a point, 2, 1, we can find the equation of the tangent line using whatever methodology you like to from your algebra class. And so we know that y is equal to mx plus b. So we plug in 2 for x, 1 for y, and our slope is 1 13th. We're able to solve for b, and we get that b is equal to 11 13ths. 
putting together the parts, we know that the equation of the tangent line at the point 2, 1 is y is equal to 1 13th x plus 11 thirteenths. As our final example, we'd like to find y prime at the point 1, 0 when we have e to the y is equal to x squared plus y squared. Again, we're looking for y prime, so this is our indication that y is a dependent variable, and whenever we're taking derivatives, we should always get a y prime term whenever we're taking derivatives of y. And so we take the derivative of the left-hand side, which would give us e to the y times y prime, because the derivative of the inside, which is y, is y prime, and the derivative of e to the y is e to the y. On the right-hand side, derivative of x squared is 2x, and then plus the derivative of y squared is the derivative of the inside there is y prime, and then that would be 2y. So now we need to solve for y prime. So we're going to collect the terms with y prime onto one side of the equation. So we get e to the y times y prime minus 2y y prime is equal to 2x. We'll factor out the y prime terms in the left-hand side of the equation. And so we get y prime is equal to e to the y, I'm sorry, y prime times e to the y minus 2y is equal to 2x. We can now divide by that e to the y minus 2y term. And so we get y prime is equal to 2x over e to the y minus 2y. Now in order to find the derivative at that point, we're going to plug 1, 0 into our y prime. And when we do that, we get that y prime at 1, 0 is equal to 2 over 1 or 2.